Okay, so I'm gonna approach guard and say, mm -hmm. Excuse me, sir, do you have uh, directions to the temple? To a temple or some sort? The, uh, the capital? Uh, or a, a main temple? Kind of looks you up and down. What kind of temple are you looking for? Just a. Uh, what what what's the most popular one around here? Like, I, my buddy. Do you do you know anything about people turning to stone around here? Uh, can't say I know anything about that. Come on, duty. Okay. Um. I pull out five more cold. I'm like, no, sure? no, re no, really, really. Seriously, lady. I don't got any drugs, alright? Back off. I know. I kind of roll my eyes. No, I'm, I'm talking about, like, literally, some, like, my buddy got turned to stone. You know anything about, like, dudes getting stoned? <laughs> <Sure, like. laughs> I tell. Uh, wait, does he actually say the drug thing? Yeah, he did. He, oh, I was like, he totally I, misunderstood what you meant. Yeah, I was like, listen, he, he like kind of looked around. He's like, no, nah, I'm on duty. Like, I don't, I don't do that shit. Like, I was like, no, listen, I. My buddy got my, really stoned. We were, we were fighting these creatures, and he got bit by, a, and he turned him actually to stone. Like, I'm. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I don't know anything about that, but uh, you could probably read a book or something or talk to a yeah you said like a temple maybe like a bishop or something I don't know mm. sounds alright thank you yeah I kind of kinda casually just drop like a gold coin by him like whoops a... <laughs> oh okay you just walk off no I, I listen directions to where you're yeah I listen if he keeps talking so you drop the coin and he kind of like gives you a like a weird I don't know, he doesn't understand what you're trying to do. I picked the coin up. I'm just like, oops, sorry. Oops. Uh, yeah. So anyway. Uh, yeah. There's a. You're looking for like. Mm, I mean. Are we talking scale here, like largest temple or temple to good deities or. Got a got a quite a few. Powerful, like most well known. Uh, most probably most uh, visited, you know. Uh huh. Most. Oh, there's a temple to Ashura, the divine of life. All right, that's that's the one I'm looking for. Sure. Actually, that sounds good. Sure. That sounds good. Tell you. Hey, he gives you the approximate directions. Um. Two lefts on your right, Kappa Kappa. Okay, yeah. So we head there. All right, sweet. Uh, it's going to take you... Oh, it only takes you 30 minutes, actually, to find this temple. Um, it. It's <laughs> rather obvious. It's probably kind of lavish and a little bit larger than the rest of the buildings, and you see people kind of walking you know, to and from it as, you know, there's bells kind of going off in the distance and, you know, church bells or something. And, oh, yeah, that's probably the right place. Looks holy and shit. Oh. So you enter this temple to Ashura. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there seems to be some sort of mass going on right now. Like there's, you know, there's a bunch of pews and there's people sitting and there's some guy giving a speech about the holiness of, you know, the divines and how you need to put your faith in Ashura and all will be right in the world and times are tough, but, you know, mm -hmm. if you just have faith, you shall make it through, blah, blah, blah. So what are you, you going to like sit down and listen to all this or... 
is there like an usher or like some sort of person standing by the near like the back of the entrance to like of course yeah there's no it's not an usher it's an like an acolyte of the temple acolyte, yeah sorry i'm yeah um i guess i approach him just kind of mm -hmm. try to gauge uh i say to him uh, excuse me sir or uh i sorry uh yeah it's a younger male he looks like he's actually probably only like 16 or something pretty oh. young yeah excuse me sir uh young man do you i have a uh he I looks have... kind of with a furrowed brow at desmond's war torn plate mail or or this is more like a half plate but yeah. eh, desmond looks like a rough and tumble type of guy you know he hasn't well, showered in a while, he didn't <laughs> polish his armor before he came in, he's probably got some dirt on his boots from the rain, he's looking at the drag marks in the church, but he listens to what I mean, you I have, have to say. Boss. Huh? I have some pretty awesome armor as well, John. Oh, I know, but Desmond's intimidating. I mean, you might be, but... I'm not, well, I'm intimidating in a different way. Yeah. It's not, it's not immediately... He kind of looks... Uh, Weirdly at both of you, but he listens to what you have to say. Yeah, uh, I just say <clears throat> our buddy I, our, I have come to inquire about some information uh, About a friend of mine that was recently Well came upon a condition <clears throat> That we need some sort of we need you're looking for healing? I don't know if healing is the right word. He's gotten into a real bad ways. He's really yeah, stoned yeah, all the uh, time. Mm. The he gods. Really hmm? I don't know. He's really. Right at the moment, he's really hard headed. Hmm. Just... He kind of frowns at you. Uh, I kind of grin, uh, looking at Desmond. I say, what I mean is that he was turned to stone. Uh, well, to be honest, I... Well, I... I don't... I don't dabble in the arts yet, you see. I'm, I'm still quite young. I'm, I'm in training. I... Of course. You should perhaps speak to Father Rolnat. Really? Father Rolnat? Anyway, um... <laughs> uh... Is he the one speaking? Uh, no, no. There are a number of fathers who work here. This is... Uh, work is a strong word, but that we work for the people. So, so. Yes, we are servants of the Divine and her children. Where might I find Father Rolnat? If you believe your problems require his attention, I believe I could see him to you tonight. Uh, how how I, I don't I, I to be honest I don't know it's, it's what it is you speak of uh, men who are stoned well it, listen they are physically, hard headed physically so like they, our friend is physically flesh and then physically now he is solid rock and he's now he looks kind of horrified at what you're saying that sounds horrible some sort of chickens. I don't. Anyway, we need to make him a not stone because he kind of he's kind of important right now. I don't... It's kind of annoying. I know. I'm uh... <coughs> kind of frustrating, but you know our old buddy. So. uh... Well, I'll see what I can do. Oh, I, like put my armor on him. Like there must be just, you know something you guys could do. Are you trying to intimidate him, or what? I don't understand what you mean by that. Uh, 
it's not really intimidate. Just, I'm not. I don't know if I'm really doing anything. It's just more like a, like a. Why? Why are you putting your armor on me? Like that's weird. Like, laid back. Like. I don't know if that affects him at all. Maybe it's some sort of charisma. Yeah, I mean, if you want to try and give a charisma check, you can do that. Uh, something with persuasion. If you're trying to like maybe persuade him to, um, get you to. Can I use my devilish looks to try to get him to? Yeah, that would be a persuasion check. Like if you're trying to seduce him or something. Sure. He is a man of the gods. So what do you do? Like you're kind of like touching him lightly and saying like, oh, it'd be nice if... I'm <laughs> <laughs> just like... It's not like a full-on like, like touch. So it's like sure. very, like lightly like brush him. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. He looks uncomfortable, but he's not going to like shy away from... I mean, yeah. He's an acolyte of the people. He's used to showing love and affection, so... You know, he looks uncomfortable, but uh, yes, I, I will do what I can to to help you in this. But um, why don't you take a seat? Uh, I'll I'll see if the father has the time today to speak with you. I think he I think he will, but they stay quite busy here. I'll be right over there. I'll start walking away. Right. Um, okay. It's like... 40 minutes later, he finally comes back, and you're like, oh my god. Uh, I'm reading a book. What book are you reading? I mean, there's like pamphlets, you know, in, in yeah, I've read a few those, sections. So I'm just... uh, and they talk, you know, they, they list all of the... Uh, gods who were born under divine collision uh, from their mother Ashura. Um, yeah, I mean, there's actually quite a few of them. I don't know if you care about any of that crap. No, I'm just reading Critian Encounters. Oh, you're reading that? Okay. Yeah, reading Encounters. Okay, cool. Oh, so I bet Desmond seems to be annoyed. He doesn't really want to be here. It's kind of obvious. Yeah, I see him like, 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 like shifts a lot. Like, and... Yeah, I, I like, like, pap him, like, literally, like, like, a, like a, like a mom in church hitting her son who's like restless. Fine, you'll be okay. Just, like hit him, kind of like not hit him, but like, you know, kind of yeah. like a pap. I mean, it's starting to get a little bit darker out. Um, there are stained glass windows in this large cathedral, um, <laughs> and you can see that the sun is starting to set now, because uh, it still sets pretty early. Um, but yeah, so eventually he shows back up and he says, uh, well, I spoke with him about the urgency of your issues, uh, and he can spare ten minutes, uh, right now, if you need. I stand right up, put the book in my hand, and start walking, follow him. Mm -hmm. Okay, Desmond gets up, kind of like saying, finally. Uh, and you are led to kind of a private sort of room. Uh, it's down a long hallway, um, and it's nice and peaceful in here. Uh, and there's, I mean, it's not a large room. Um, Think like maybe sauna sized kind of like a big sauna, like you know, like the YMCA or something. Yeah. Like I think about approximately that sized room, and um, next to it, uh, there is a an additional kind of like a sliding door um, with a man who you can see is inside, but you can't really make out his appearance. Uh, and for all intents and purposes, this is basically confession. Right, it's like there's someone else on the opposite end of a sliding door, and you sit down, and you're gonna, you know, tell him your woes of the world or Wait, something. No, I want to speak with someone one. -on -one not what? We're not trying. We're not. Are we doing confession right now? We're not trying to confess. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to give you a 
vivid description of what this kind of looks like. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's like a pretty decently sized room with enough, you know, there's enough wiggle room so a couple people could be sitting in here if they needed to. Um, and the young acolyte kind of dips his head to you and exits the room. And a pretty masculine voice calls out to you and says, what can I do for you, my child? Tell me your woes. Have you sinned against the gods? Have you come for repentance? Is that over? Do I know where that is? I mean, it's it's from the other side of the sliding door, like two feet away from you. Yeah, I just walk over and open the sliding door. You open the sliding door? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I have a question. Um... Okay, I was not expecting that. <laughs> He's naked. No. I'm kidding. I know. He's not naked. Uh, He's uh, surprised. I went against some sort of rule. And wait, what did you say to him when you opened it? I have a few questions. Okay. Shit. Um. Where is that? What the fuck? Where is it? <coughs> Don't over here, Tony. Uh, he gets, yeah, he's immediately like very angry at you, like immediate reactions. Uh, like he furrows his brow and says, How dare you! And he stands up and he's like making a move to you. Um,. Yeah, I don't. I'm not here for whatever this is. I'm here because I have some questions that are very urgent about regarding the health of my friend. I I didn't. I don't know what this is. I didn't ask for whatever I'm here for. Uh, you are in the presence of one who represents the gods. Okay. And you. Show such disrespect. I don't understand. But, but wait. But I just you. He takes a moment to like really look at you. I'm like looking at Desmond, kind of like perplexed. Like what? What is he talking about? I mean, he he's mad. Like, he's pretty pissed. Yeah. Uh, he looks like he really wants to, like, slap you in the face. Um, your presence here was... A... What is it? Oh, fuck, what is the word? It was a... A favor... For me to see you tonight. Leave okay. now before you fall out of favor with the gods. Um, like he's pretty pissed that you just like rolled up and and disrupted the ceremony kind of thing. He seems pretty upset. Listen, I don't know what sort of thing I just angered. I don't know who I angered. I was under the impression that I would get to speak with me and my compatriot uh, about my best friend got turned to stone and I was wondering if anyone knew how to reverse that because I'm pretty annoyed right now that nobody has any idea because like there's things on this place that you can get turned to stone on and you'd think that'd be a pretty big deal and you'd know about that 
but it, everyone seems like that's never happened before, and I've, I know that that's happened before, but I don't know why it happens, because I don't know how it happens, or how it, or who it happens to, and, yeah. Now you're getting angry at me for things I have no idea. Give me a charisma check to calm this old man down, who seems, like, red in the face, angry at you. D20 plus persuasion, probably. Did you already roll it? No. Uh, first What's the 21? Uh, 23. Um, oh, I was- I accidentally rolled my- dagger. You rolled a 23? Yeah. Okay, so he was, like, pretty upset before, like, he was ready to kick you out. Yeah. Um, clearly you've made some sort of faux pas. Like, you, you don't really know maybe the religious yeah. sort of rights of, you know, Ravencrest uh, religious folk, but clearly you have pissed this guy off. Mm -hmm. You know, it's probably... I mean, the only way that I could, like, kind of translate it would be... It's probably, like, on the order of uh, going in front of, like, Pastor Dwayne at Res Life and burning a Bible in front of him. Like, that's how, that's like how pissed this guy is right now. He's like very upset at you and like wants you to leave. Like, he did a personal favor for this acolyte. He was like, please just see them. Like, I know you're tired. And he's like, all right. And then you just fucking like burn this Bible in front of him, basically, is what you just said. <laughs> what? He looked like he was on the verge of like casting a spell on you, but he holds back. Uh, because he is a servant of a good deity. Uh, and, but you managed, to, you managed to persuade him to calm down. He still seems kind of frustrated at you. Oh fuck! What, I need a list of my gods. Thank Guinevere that my hope in humanity is unshaken. So many have lost the way. You should learn some manners, elf. I'm... okay. I don't... I'm... again, I... I will learn... I don't... Under, okay. I just stop. I just take a breath. Explain to me what the heck got you so angry at me. What did I do wrong? Because I don't know what I did to upset you. My, like, Mahari has an idea because she is. Yeah. You're not from here, are you? I'm kinda I'm like, well, I mean, obviously not. I'm, as you can tell, I'm an elf. How did you be here in the first place? He, like, counts to five in his head. You are aware that they're hanging individuals who do not belong here, correct? I actually, I didn't know they were hanging them, but I knew that they yes. were being... Islanders, the Islanders are <sighs> taking drastic steps. At first, they were escorting people off the island. But eventually, it was decreed that anyone found who did not belong here would be executed summarily. Mm. I do know that... What's happening here is terrible, <clears throat> and we are indeed trying. We would love to fix it, but as would I. When the people suffer, we all suffer. Even the gods, they mourn for us. Well, even though he's closed the borders, it's still obviously happening. So. It shows that 
well, whoever or whatever is doing this is clearly not coming in or out. Or this is not what I was told we would be discussing. Right, no. You're right. I don't... And I've half a mind to turn over someone such as you to the law. There's but no I am a man of peace. I want no more violence in our streets. Say what you've come to say and leave me. I ask only about knowledge. Pertaining to what? The... He still seems pretty pissed at you. The creation of... <laughs> uh, of how to get my friend unstonified. I don't know what you call it. They're... He's been turned to stone. He's he's sitting in the forest, stone, and I don't know what to do. And how did this happen to him? <sighs> okay, well, we were traveling here, and... We were attacked by some weird looking creatures that were resembled giant weird looking chickens and they bit him and he turned to stone. He is a paladin. He seems, I don't know, his expression changed a little bit when you said paladin. And why would a paladin travel with someone such as you, harlot? My expression, I kind of harden my expression like I'm being angry at him. Uh, because we were best friends before he became that. Before we saved the dwarven population from the unspeakable evil that was plaguing it. So often, men as yourself believe they're so highly above others, they forget that sometimes they need to be respectful as well. He squints at you. Now, I haven't come here to talk social hierarchy with you, but more respectfulness, just trying to get my friend back to the way he was. Yes, well, I believe you and I are done here. While I pity the paladin, you can find your answers elsewhere. Seek out a wizard, something perhaps more to your taste. Is there anything, any person you'd recommend who would know more about this? Specifically, would it be a wizard? Um, let me... I just need to pull up my... <sighs> yes. I suppose any wizard would do. The closest one here is... A man who dabbles in the sale of arcane weaponry and spellcraft. His name is Niles. You can find him down the road. It's right. It's actually. Yeah, he tells you it's like like the road that you came down. It's actually along that road, like a couple minutes to the right or whatever. Okay. Yeah. I guess for that information, I say thank you and I leave. Yeah. That was not at all where I was expecting this campaign to go. 
go today. <laughs> like, it's just a good... A good thing you went to a lawful good bishop and did this shit. Because I was like, oh my god, like, is he gonna fucking kill you? Like, he's pissed. And I was like, no. He's good. But if you went to pretty, pretty much any... Like, if you went to, like, a... A neutral bishop, he might have done something. Yeah, he was pretty pissed at you, but he was holding it in as best he could. With the teachings of the gods in his mind. And that's where the campaign ends. Vahari and Desmond get killed just trying to to cure Orsic's petrification. And well, Orsic I mean, like, who just does that? Eternity. Who just like goes and s hello, excuse me, bishop. <laughs> But it's very Vaharian that she has like yeah. no respect for other yeah. people's beliefs or like the natural order. <laughs> yeah, she she's like the the chaos queen at this point, you know, like queen yeah. bitch. So yeah. All right, you travel and eventually find. I mean, it's getting really dark. Um, actually, I need to turn my music as it is now getting a little bit darker at night and as you reach what looks like it's probably Niles's magic shop um he has some sort of sign that says like Niles magic shop yeah. right it's not it doesn't he doesn't have like some fancy schmancy name or something um uh, is this right, the night track no that's not um, but yeah, so actually you catch him as he's exiting, like he's closing shop for the night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I try to stop him. You try to stop him? I don't, not stop him, but like, I kind of like when he's like, it's a scene of like him locking up and turning around as he's locking it up and like, okay. Like, so you good. approach him. Yeah. Mm -mm. Desmond follows you. Yeah, I kind of approach him like, ending a conversation with Desmond, like, I really don't understand. Like, these priests are all so tight bridged and I like walk up and <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. Um he has um I think he was like sparking a torch, getting ready to go home or something. Yeah. Uh he is Well he's a man. Uh he has a large sort of lumberjack beard, like a man's man sort of beard. Yeah. Really actually you're looking him over? Um he looks pretty freaking ripped. You're like, when's the last time I ever saw a wizard that looked like fucking this? What the hell? Yeah. Uh, and he says, ooh. Hello, hello. Uh, and he looks at the two of you. Looks at Desmond a little longer than oh, you would expect. Mm. And he says, ah, what can I do for you? And we're closed. I'm Niles. Hello, Niles. Um, I am. Uh, my name is Sandra. And um, you drop something. Oh, there goes skirt John. Skirt, skirt. No, you must drop some dice. <sighs> All right. My name is Sandra, and I am looking. Well, for some information, I, I was pointed in the direction of you because I heard that you might know something about my friend being turned into stone by some sort of creature. It's never seen again. Now it sits there for 40 awkward <laughs> seconds. Staring now it's just... Looks around on the ground for something. Walks off screen. And I was like, oh, my contacts. And <laughs> four hours Son later. of a bitch. As he tries yeah. to find his contact that he dropped on the ground. Turn that boiler down. It's really hot. You got to turn that down. It's overheating right now. Gabe, go turn it down. Wow. All right. Laziness has hit. Epidemics. <laughs> He's like right there, like Gabe, quickly go turn that off. He's like, Mom, Mom, get turned off. I'm lazy. Tell you anything ever. All right, John, you there? Did you reconnect your headphones? 
He isn't. Oh. Technical difficulties. First break here. Break time. Let's let's go to a break. 